Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is the worst influenza pandemic on record acute in and you have to choose the correct answer. Those I know that most of you know the correct answer, I still recommend you to watch this video to the end because I am sure that you are going to learn something new today anyway. So the first uh, choice, answer A, 1918 and this is when uh, worst uh, pandemic which we know as uh, Spanish flu. So Spanish flu occurred and uh, scientists estimate that um, it cost about between 20 to 50 million of lives. So it's more than uh, casualties during the World uh, War One, and uh, one of the reasons uh, why uh, World War One uh, finished it was because of this also uh, flu, uh, because of this influenza pandemic. And next, 1957, we know this um, year when another pandemic occurred, which we know as Asian, so this is Asian, Asian flu. And if Spanish flu were um, virus were caused by virus that we know as H1 and N1. The Asian flu uh, were caused by different strain of virus which we know as H2 and 2. Total number of pandemics in 20th century were 3, but we see here um, 4 uh, years and that means that one of these years uh, actually is not pandemic but uh, rather epidemic and uh, now let's move to the answer C and uh, this is when Hong Kong flu occurred this was also pandemic so Hong Kong Hong Kong flu and it was caused by once again, different strain, which we know as H2 and 3. And each letter here stands for the different uh, variant of the antigens. Uh, this is protein that we can find on the surface of the influenza virus. And 1977 is when uh, not pandemic, but rather epidemic occurred, and we know it under the name uh, Russian flu or red flu. And there is interesting story about this epidemic, because um, if you would take a look, it was caused by strain which is H1 and 1. Why it is interesting? Because this virus, as you know, uh, highly um, mutates every year. That's why, as you see, every pandemic has uh, different uh, proteins, on surface proteins, um, different antigens. But after almost um, the last uh, this uh, strain of the influenza have been seen was 1950s. So after almost 30 years, the same uh, variant strain of the virus appeared again. And uh, on the worst, some of the scientists were thinking that uh, Russians were uh, experimenting with this flu because it um, naturally cannot be like preserved during all these years because it's always mutating. But actually, it's turned out that this flu, which was uh, not pandemic but epidemic, uh, originated not in Russia but in North China. But uh, still, it is uh, some kind of mystery. Those nowadays, of course, we have uh, models that explains how this virus mutates. Uh, one model is called um, antigenic drift, another one is antigenic shifts. And uh, once again, uh, only three 
uh, here is pandemics, this three, and one is epidemic. So uh, the correct answer, as you see, is answer A. And uh, what else I can say is that um, I'm going to make a video, maybe tomorrow, that uh, will show you how this virus mutates and I'm going to explain why it is so difficult to make a um, flu shot uh, that would be universal and that would last uh, forever just like many other shots that would give you uh, immune protection for the rest of your life but uh, not the case with this uh, influenza virus which can be A, B, C and even D which is not very uh, known but I'm going to make videos about each um, strain of the virus and you would know the difference between them and also uh, I want to tell you that there were nine pandemics during the last um, three uh, centuries uh, three pandemics for every century and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.